Now, today's top stories in Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi, everybody. Let's take a look at today's top stories. One person is dead, another behind bars after a deadly shooting at a McDonald's restaurant in Cuyahoga Falls Thursday afternoon. Police say Christopher Riddick shot a fellow employee in the chest, then ran off. He was arrested nearby a short time later. The man who was shot was taken to Akron City Hospital, and that's where he died. And the owner operator of the McDonald's on Howe Avenue says workers will be offered counseling and any other support they need. Riddick will be in court Friday on a charge of aggravated murder. Investigators in Lake County are trying to figure out what led a man to pull up outside the Perry nuclear power plant claiming to have a bomb. Investigators say Michael Fogelsong traveled from Michigan to Cincinnati to make a delivery, then headed north to the power plant. A 19-year-old was riding with him. When they pulled up to the plant, he apparently told workers he had a bomb inside the trailer. Authorities responded, determined there were no explosives, but Fogelson is now facing charges. Let's talk about what's happening on, what, Weekend Eve, Mark? Weekend Eve, Friday coming our way now. We're not going to be in the 80s, but we're still going to be mild, 74 to 76 degrees for the high. We'll see a little morning cloudiness, maybe a brief morning shower, and then sunshine coming out for the afternoon. It is going to be a little bit blustery, though, so keep that in mind. Now your seven-day, bring it on up, 73, showers early, p.m. sunshine. Saturday, 76, all right, 76 to 80, somewhere in that range, dry until evening. Sunday at 63 with a few brief showers, and then 60s and 50s, so cooling down for next week. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.